lead or get out of the way. Coming up next on Pastor Bob Daily. Dear Pastor Bob, I'm having a very difficult time at work. My boss used to be a co-worker before he was promoted. He was a friend to all of us. Now it's like he's another person. Everyone hates him and most people want to quit. He's on a power trip. How should I handle this? You know, a lot of times leadership goes to people's heads in the wrong way. And they equate it with power. They equate it with, you know, authority. They equate it with all of these things that, well, that lead them to another place. I used to have a poster over my desk that I loved. I wish I still had it. And it said, I must hurry and catch up with the others, for I am their leader. It's good, isn't it? I felt that way most of my life. And I feel like, you know, I have the, the awesome opportunity to work with people, not have them work for me. And I've always led that way because I think that's the best way. I, I've had this little plaque for a long time. And it says, true leaders don't force people to follow. They invite them on a journey. Isn't that great? And that is absolutely true. And it's been my motto all of this time. We're on adventure together. We're on a journey together. We're on a quest together. And it really takes all of us to do that. A good leader understands that he's a servant of everyone. The Bible even says if you want to be great in God's kingdom, you learn how to be the servant of everybody. Well, that's the principle. And whenever somebody does this, like this person is asking about, when they this power thing goes to their head and they start, well, they start making a lot of enemies, they're doing it completely wrong. Because you have to understand that true leadership is serving. Now you have to make decisions for everybody and you have to lead by example as well. But it really isn't about that. It's about working together. And... I've always found that it just works so well to work with people when you have their respect, when you have their love, when you have their friendship as well. Things go a lot better. A lot of people say, well, you can't be friends with your employees. And I'm thinking, well, then you've missed the whole idea of what real leadership is all about. So I want to talk to two people today. I want to talk to the leaders, first of all because you have a responsibility to set the pace. You probably have, depending on what country you're in, 36 to 40 hours a week with people that you're responsible for. That's a good chunk of their time. You can either make life miserable for them or you can challenge them. How awesome it is to show up to work and be challenged, looking forward to it because it's something that captures you instead of dreading going to work because you have this kind of boss. Those of you that are finding yourself in this same situation or you're working for someone that makes your life miserable, please consider changing jobs. You know, I just feel like, and I get these questions, should I leave my church? It's horrible. Should I leave my job? It's horrible. Should I leave this friendship? It's abusive. And my answer usually is, yes, 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 you should. I think the quality of life is so important, so important for you. It's so important that every day you're challenged instead of discouraged. Every day you have an opportunity to be all that you can be instead of tolerating a job. And if you're not in that kind of situation, would you work towards that? It may be changing a job altogether. It may be going into a different department. Whatever it takes. Find something that you're good at, that you feel challenged with, you have a passion for, and do it as a job. It's a big deal. And then realize that it's a journey. 
It's a journey for all of us. And that journey that we call life needs to take place in the workplace as well. Just my two cents worth. <laughs> coming up. Yeah, I almost said coming up next on Pastor Bob Daily. I think we just finished this. Okay, so I'm a little confused today. I just need more coffee. God bless you. Have a great day.